Hi, I'm Matt. Hey, I'm Bianca. And in this video, we're comparing the goods and bads and all of the things about Desire Pearl in Cancun, Mexico, and Hedonism 2 in Negril, Jamaica. So stay tuned. We're the Traveling Swingers. So we are currently in Desire Pearl. Yep, we've been here for a week now? Yep. Yeah, yep. yeah. So what we wanted to kind of do was give you an idea of the difference between Desire Pearl in Cancun and in Jamaica, or, or sorry, Hedonism in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. uh, what, so how, how could you make a decision if you had these two places that you kind of wanted to go to, how are you going to make a decision on which one to go to? Exactly, and they're, yeah. they're, they are two very different resorts, yeah. and they are both high-end lifestyle resorts. Right. And what's interesting is that we'll actually, when we talk to somebody at a resort, we'll actually hear people say something negative about the other resort, about things that they heard, mm -hmm. um, which is why they don't like the other one. And we're like, okay, we need to go to both and like figure out if, if a lot of these things are true, yeah. uh, if, if there is any negatives, and, and what they might be. Be or what type of person would want to go to this resort over this resort and so we said okay we'll, we'll do both of them and we'll just kind of compare and contrast right compare and contrast so let's start with uh, let's start with the resort itself mm -hmm. all right so now that we're just finishing up a desire what do you think of the resort oh this resort is beautiful and clean and right on the ocean and uh, I guess I have no complaints about this resort at all. Okay, yeah, it is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful place. The the facilities are nice. The, it is a, it is considered a high end resort. Although we did talk to some people that are like, I heard this place was even nicer than it was. And and it's I mean whatever however many stars you would call Desire, I would tend to say hedonism is one star below that. I would agree with that. So is that a bad thing? No. It, and it's not a crazy difference either. Yeah. It's not like, oh my gosh, this is a five star, you know, beautiful, most beautiful resort I've ever been to, and hedonism is just just you know old, run down. Da, da, da. That's not the case at all. That's at least of what we've seen. That might somebody might think differently if they saw hedonism a decade ago. Yes, yeah. Uh, because a lot of people will say, oh, hedonism is is run down, but no, hedonism is an older resort for one. Um, but they've been remodeling it for years, right. and and every time we go, they've just done a little bit more, and the rooms are really nice. Um, uh, yes, Desire is a nicer resort, but it's not leaps and bounds no. above hedonism by any means. We are happy with both of the resorts as far as the quality of the buildings as, as far as the you know the, the how comfortable the beds are how roomy the rooms are uh, the shower the water heat temperature uh, all that the resorts are very very nice yeah um, what about the employees oh the staff you know I feel like the staff at all of the resorts or both of the resorts are great I will say I feel like the entertainment and the entertainment staff at uh, desire has been way above a lot of places we've been to like mm -hmm. so good mm -hmm. uh, the games that they play at the pool have been great the dance classes exercise classes all that kind of stuff have been all stuff I love and I want to do it's not all just like volleyball in the pool while they have that as well they also do dance classes lap dance classes pole dance classes yoga classes that kind of stuff so mm -hmm. i enjoyed the variety of those classes personally which i don't feel i get in jamaica right they have they, they have in jamaica they'll have volleyball and, yeah. and 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 all that they also have which is different and i would tend to say better at hedonism is they have a lot of uh beach um like the rentals that you can do there like you, you oh, want yeah, you want to nice. rent a kayak you know they have that available for you uh that's you included can snorkel and scuba and and all, and all of those things are there at the resort where that's not the case here right. at desire yeah. uh, if you want to do those beach activities they are available of course i mean there's a lot of there's a ton of stuff available within walking distance uh or if you want to do a fishing charter here in desire that you know all of that is available um, but more of that is available Available on property at hedonism yeah. so that was that's definitely a benefit of hedo if that's what you're looking uh, for but uh, but I will say one more thing about the entertainment I feel that um, the entertainment and energy at the pool at hedo is way more fun and flirty and mm -hmm. upbeat mm -hmm. than the energy here at desire mm -hmm. uh, the energy here even at the pool in the afternoon is very low-key very relaxing very chill yeah even when they're playing games, it doesn't get 
crazy and it doesn't get loud and that kind of stuff so uh i will say if you want like if you're looking for a party atmosphere at the pool during the day hito is definitely more of that than desire okay um and at Hito, there because it's such a larger property, the 300, I think it's 300 rooms compared to 120, something like that, I don't remember, but uh, it's a considerably larger property and there are places that can be quiet and there are places that can be loud. So if you wanna go sit on a hammock by the beach and fall asleep all day long, which we, we have, <laughs> which we have had those days, uh, that you can do that at Hedonism. But if you also want to just go and have a rager party all day long and drink to your heart's content and dance buck naked on the side of the pool and then go fuck somebody, you can do that at Hedo. Yeah. Um, there is that, that broad range uh, right. where here, as you said, it is a quieter atmosphere. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that, just different. Uh, if you want to just have a relaxing week and uh, sit by the pool and be naked and talk to people and uh, be friendly, uh, then you can absolutely do that here at Desire, but it is a just a much milder, calmer, group of people yeah, for sure. uh, but the entertainment staff is what you know what we were talking about there is yeah I would I would give that to desire uh, to over Hito. Yeah, uh, for sure. uh, uh, desire they, they although both of them will bring in nighttime entertainment uh, professionals to do dancing and that type of thing we found that the the fact that they do a different performance here every single night uh, as they do at Hito, but the performances are just better here. Yeah. They're just, now, what's, they're what's, short and sweet. They're short and sweet. They're, they're only about 15 minutes long, uh, and and uh, and it, a lot of that has to do with the fact that the nightclub is just too small for the amount of guests that they have here. So I think, and since a lot of people have to kind of stand in the room uh, to watch the performance, they make them short, 15 minutes, so that people don't get tired and leave. Uh, and they, 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 they're, they're fascinating. I mean, they're entertaining. People are flipping up and down and doing all the things, uh, and then they turn it over instantly in a nightclub to get people on the dance floor. And the 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 people who are performing literally are bringing people up on the stage to to dance, and then they'll sneak off while the people stay on stage and, and do the do the nightclub thing. Where at Hito, the entertainment is actually at the dinner area right. so so it, you know it's a massive area where you eat uh, uh where the buffet is and they have you know a few hundred seats and then a, a giant stage and on the stage they will have uh people start to perform as people are either f just finishing dinner or just had fish finished dinner a half hour an hour earlier and have just been sitting there talking and so what happens is the entertainment almost seems like kind of a not an afterthought, but something that's just kind of secondary. You're like, oh, oh, I see what they're doing. So anyway, you're, da, right. da, 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 da. you're in the middle of a conversation, so you're not paying as much attention to it. And and a lot of it is 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 dancing, it, and it's and it's good dancing, but it's not like edgy or see. I have to watch this thing. That where we found that was the case, and that uh, here at at, at at Desire, again, that could be venue related because you're kind of forced to because it's the show at. Desire starts at 10:30, where you know the other one starts where you've been eating dinner. Right. Uh, so that I mean, it's just it is different. But we found that you, it almost has to be better entertainment here, or no one would watch it. Sure. Um, uh, but yeah, the entertainment staff. I, we, we we definitely give uh, the entertainment in general uh, definitely to Desire over hedonism. How about the food? Uh, you know what? The food here at Desire was fantastic. I don't have a whole lot of complaints. I mean, not everything. It, it's you know, breakfast and lunch is still pretty much buffet style, which I'm not a big fan of. Um, but you know what? It just you need enough. It's not horrible. You can usually find something that you'll eat mm -hmm. um, and everything. But I, you know, I have trouble with breakfasts and lunches on anywhere I go. So I, I'm a bad judge of that. You love the breakfast. I, I love so yeah. so I, I did enjoy the breakfast here. They make a really good omelet. However. From at least the breakfast standpoint, I would absolutely give that to Hedonism over Desire. Uh, oh, absolutely. there was so much more food to That's choose true. from. They have a lot and, and I mean, they, there's just a lot more food to choose from. So, yeah. if, you know, they have any time of day, they have a massive salad bar there. You, how did you, what did you think of the salad bar here? Well, the salad bar was not good. Was, was negligible at best. Yeah, yeah, it was very disappointing. And, 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 but the one at Hedonism, you know, they have massive fruit areas. They have a, a solid salad bar with lots of, Different vegetables to choose they from, lots of different salad dressings to choose from. The cheese platter, the cheese platter, the you know, uh, the the, and in addition to like a large selection of food, and that's just for breakfast. I mean, yeah, both places will have the bacon's and the sausage, but there was every day 
At hedonism, they had different things to choose from, and that was just for breakfast. And they also had an omelet bar there too. Oh yeah, an omelet bar was solid there too. Uh, uh, so yeah, no no complaints. But I would absolutely give at the very least breakfast to he breakfast and lunch because that's yeah. those are usually the buffet type meals. Oh, way yeah. Tahito yeah. over desire, okay. unquestionably, unquestionably. Um, although we don't, we, we like the food here. There, yeah. we, we did, it wasn't negative at all. We just found that hedonism. hedonism we like the food a lot better. Yeah. Now, when it comes to dinner, that's a whole other ball game. Okay, dinner, they're trying for dinner. You yes. know, it's not just the simple buffets, although you can you can do that. Uh, well, no, I guess no, you can't have here. a buffet here. No, they don't have a buffet here uh, at, uh, at Desire, except one night a week, they will have a Mexican-style buffet by the pool, which was beautiful. We, we, we went there, and, you know, it's romantic, and it's dark, and they have, you know, the string lights up, and it's a very romantic situation. The food, on the other hand, that night was was, was a negative. Jam. Neither one of us liked the food yeah. uh, at the Me Mexican buffet. We liked the ambiance, but we did not like the food. However, the restaurants themselves were fantastic. Yes. Like the 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 Asian fusion restaurant that they have here uh, was phenomenal. The sushi was spectacular. The noodles it was it was it was really really good. We had a French restaurant last night that was uh, phenomenal. No complaints. It was. Excellent, excellent dinner, uh, and then the, and then the the other restaurant, the one that uh, what's it called here, the one right down by the water. Aphrodite. Aphrodite. Thank you, thank you. I lost my mind there. Uh, Aphrodite, which is where it's a buffet during the day, they actually switch it up into a, a, a serving restaurant at night, and and the food was was was. The one thing about food that I will say yep. is um, sometimes there are odd times that you need to eat because you've been off site all mm -hmm. day or whatever. And that happened to us when we were at Hito. And once we were at Hito and we got back from a trip and there was no food. We were back at like, I don't oh, know, nine o'clock. Nine nine and, and there's nothing to eat. By that time, the buffet's been closed down. The other things are not, there's nothing there. You're done, you're, you're fucked. Um, they will open up again in an hour or yeah, two for pizza. Yeah. But, but here, these at least they have room service. So there were a couple of times where we were like, you know, we didn't get to eat when we needed to or needed a little bit more or whatever. And you can order room service. I think there's only a couple of hours like between like, you know, three o'clock in the morning and 5 a.m. or something like that where they don't serve. But, uh, yeah, we ordered it a couple of different times. We ordered room service. Because the restaurants didn't have any options at all. They were just, they were just they were closed. all closed. Yes. And, and so we're like, well, the, if we want to eat, we either get some chips from the, from the, machine over there from the store uh, or we just don't eat and yeah. so the fact that they had and now of course with room service they had what a blt and a pizza I think they was, had yeah i think it was like uh you could choose like a pizza a blt and maybe a club sandwich or something like yeah. there was like v three choices that was it which which was something which was which fine was it, was, it was you know it was better good. than nothing better than nothing it was, unless it was, you're it was, vegetarian <laughs> yeah, then you're, you're yeah then well you're they well. did have a cheese pizza okay yeah so uh uh where hedonism we only ran into a lack of food for one hour a Day, which was a complaint mm -hmm. which was a complaint maybe uh, you know maybe they might have heard our complaint and fixed that but there was you know there's this one hour I'm gonna say between 9 and 10 or 10 to 11 at night where there's uh, just, a couple of hours oh, what, think, so. where there's just nothing available yeah. other than going into the gift shop and buying a bag of chips yeah. uh, um, uh, but room service is also available so as long as you don't mind waiting for room service the the option the, uh, the there's something there's yeah. something what about the drinks the drinks were fantastic. You know, I don't know that I've ever complained about a drink even at Hedo. Either resort. Either yeah. resort. The drinks, they flow. They, you order what you want, you get it. Bartenders all around are always great. Uh, it was, there was one point where it was a little difficult to get a drink here. That was one thing I found that, um, I don't know, just clientele or what. When you're, when I, I've been to Hedo and you're at the pool bar, and if you get up there and a bartender is behind there and they're somewhat ignoring you because they're busy. It's not that sure. they're being horrible yeah, no, or anything. No. But they're busy. if they go to someone who just walked up and asked them for your drink, I've noticed that Hito, they'll say, oh, she was first. What do you want, hon? Let me get your order. You know, get her first. Here, I sat. we sat there for close to 15 minutes waiting for the bartender to, and you know, we're not, like, we're having fun. We're chatting. We're no fun. rush. Not, like, we're no rush. rush, yeah. But, Several people walked up next to me and the bartender went to them and or they handed their drink and maybe they were just pushier than I am. But I, I just, I, it was just different for me. It was a different experience. And again, I don't care having to wait 15 minutes for a drink. I'm not so desperate to get a cocktail, <laughs> right? I wasn't in a hurry or anything. But just the, the difference in that experience was that was kind of odd for me. Mm. That, like I said, 
here they were just kind of cutting in line and no big deal but at Hito they were very much like you were here first what do you want or let me get you a drink or whatever so well I think that boils down to hedonism is a much more social atmosphere Absolutely. Um, maybe it's because it's more of a party atmosphere and also no it's more of a lifestyle situation uh, at Desire, although a lot of lifestyle people, there are also a lot of nudists and there are also a lot of people that are just dipping their toes in the lifestyle and haven't done anything yet and don't know how to work this world that, yeah. that we're in. And so I think a lot of it is that, that there are much more, other guests here are used to the vanilla world and kind of right. pushing your way into a bar yeah. and all that kind of stuff, which at places like Hito, there's so, so much more of a social atmosphere where y your goal at hedonism is to talk to everybody, yeah. is, is to make friends with everybody. Because oftentimes people are there for the reason of I want to meet lots of people so that I can play with lots of people. Where we definitely found that is not the vibe at Desire. Uh, the de Desire, it's not, we, we, we love this place. There's no question about that. It's a, it gets a very positive review, but the vibe is much more of a relaxed, atmosphere where you can be naked relaxed, and, sexy and relaxed se sexy atmosphere is the best way that we would describe yeah. it where we would describe hedonism as a lifestyle resort as a place that you're going to go and you're going to have as much or as little sexual fun as you want to have if you're someone that is a, a, a what are they a not you know, yeah, not, uh, yeah. bed post notcher <laughs> and you're like i want to go on vacation i want to have sex with as many people as i possibly can the desire is not the resort for you. Hedonism is the resort for you. Yeah. If, however, you are a couple that is, you know, not that, and you, you know, you want to make a connection with somebody, and you don't want, you know, you start talking to a couple, and you, you know, you, you do have a mutual, we're in the lifestyle, you're in the lifestyle, and you're doing the flirty thing, but you're go, you, but you don't have that concept that you'd have at Hedo of I better grab them and bring them back to our room now, or they're going to go find someone else. Mm -hmm. That's an advantage here at Desire sure. because you can actually make a much better connection without that concern of where'd they go, where'd they go, where'd they go? Oh, I missed, I missed my opportunity. Uh, other than they might have, you know, hopped on a plane to go home. I guess that's possible. Sure. Uh, so you still always have to be, you know, always be closing if you, you know, if, if, that, if that's what your goal is to do that. Um, so yeah, so the people uh, are a little bit, you know, a little different as far as the vibe is concerned. I would tend to say that Desire at least on a average week without takeovers in either places trying to compare apples to apples um the the crowd on an average week is going to skew a little bit older at desire um i would say 50s plus on uh, just an average week it's different if there was a a takeover for some specific group although there are a lot less takeovers that happen here at desire than happen at hedonism where hedonism has takeovers practically every single week of the year that being said, if you're, you know, you're 30 and you're 30 years old and you're like ready to go party and you just pick a random week at hedonism and it happens to be over 80 week, well, then you're probably not going to have the best time. So, you know, that's always important to make sure that you're going at the right time for hedonism as far as you would actually look up online and say, oh, this is the event that's going on. These are the types of people that I want to hang out with. If you're, you know, you're a, you're a nudist couple and it happens to be BDSM week at Hedo, you're probably going to have a bad time. So, or not a bad time's the wrong word. You're, you're just going to, make connections. you're not going to make connections because you're like, these are not my people. These are not my people. So uh, be aware of that, where at Desire, you could come any random week of the year and the crowds are going to be pretty similar. Um, uh, as far as what we've heard from from right. many many people that we've talked to and interviewed here so both resorts have their positives and their negatives right. both resorts we love there you know when it comes down to it there aren't complaints that are more than just these little mild things and and those could be individual situations or just something that doesn't work for us individually of right. what we like uh, we like both resorts. There is a time, from, from our perspective, there is a time and a place for both resorts. If we're just like, oh my God, we've had a crazy year and we just need to go on vacation and relax. Turn it off and just relax by the pool, have lots of naps, have fun conversations as well, maybe do a and little play, but, but our goal, people. yeah, but our goal is just to, you know, just to go, I need a vacation to relax. Desire is unquestionably the place that we would go. Yeah. If 
we were on the like, oh my God, we've had such a, such a year and we're just like, oh my God, I just need to go fuck lots and lots of people or I need to just, I need to party. I need to party. I would absolutely, we would absolutely choose hedonism uh, over desire because that is just much more of a swinging environment. Yeah. Um, for someone who is new, what would you recommend? You know, I think it just depends on what your goal is being new. I mean, some couples we've seen go over to Hedo and just jump into the deep end. Mm. And, um, you know, I think there's something positive to be said about that because you are more likely to have seasoned people, like people who've been in the lifestyle for a while, they can guide you a little bit easier mm -hmm. than coming to say desire here and a newbie couple meets up with a newbie couple and you're kind of like, I don't know how to progress. I don't know how to move forward. So maybe if you were a new couple, it might be, you know, if you're really raring to go, raring to have that experience, I would say Hito would probably be the right choice mm -hmm. because you're going to have more luck finding someone who's going to know how to progress forward because everybody tends to get really shy. Sure. Sure. Absolutely. So, so both resorts are fantastic. Both resorts work for new people. Both resorts work for people that have been doing this a long time. I would tend to say if you're much more nudist over, over doing swinging, you're probably going to have a better time at Desire over hedonism because of the, the, the percentages are skewed quite a bit. Um, we talked to an employee here at Desire who actually said it's 50% nudist here. And that was like the first day we're here. I'm like, no, that can't be right. Uh, but then after talking to a lot of people over the week, we ended up then saying, oh, that is exactly the case where people are just like you wouldn't guess by looking at them you'd think they'd be swingers because they're friendly and talking to people and they're like oh yeah we don't do anything we don't do anything at all it's like oh okay nothing wrong with that just like i read i read you wrong where where at other uh, where i hit them that's just generally not the case yeah. uh so uh, both amazing resorts if you would like to join us at either one of the resorts there are links below in the description that actually link right to the resort. That's where you're going to want to book for either one of these places. They are both fantastic resorts. We hope to see you at one of them. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and if of course, if you do see us at one of these resorts, make sure that you do come up and say hi and say hey, this is this is us and we saw your videos and uh, and you 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 sent us here. You brought us here to this this, <laughs> this amazing, sexy, uh, wonderful naked place. So, anything else you want to say? Uh, no, I think we got it all. All right, perfect. Well, thank you so much for. Watching, watching and we'll see you next time take care